Tell us about recording War Elephant and what that experience was like. That was uh, the first time I ever actually made a, a record. Um, and I was doing it by myself. I hadn't regularly played with anybody at, the, at that time. So I did a lot of multi-tracking on most of the songs. And, and a couple of them on these old shoes and what kind of fool am I. We brought in a, I assembled a band. Three weeks hanging out by myself in Baltimore making a record for the first time, it was, it was fun. Well, since the recording of War Elephant, which was two years ago, uh, I've assembled a quartet, um, and it's Deer Tick now. If one of us were to leave the band, it wouldn't be Deer Tick anymore. Um, so we are a real band now, and we've recorded two records so far. Um, and they should both be out by the end of the year. Um, the first one, called Born on Flag Day, comes out in June. On and Flag Day? No, no, well, it's a Sunday this year, so bad year to release an album called Born on Flag Day. And yeah, it, it, sounds, it sounds a lot different than uh, War Elephant, but anybody that liked War Elephant is going to like this one. And uh, anybody that didn't like War Elephant, hopefully, will like this one. Tell us about your songwriting process and where you get the stories that your songs are based on. I don't have a method to it. I kind of, uh, I wait till something hits me and then I, I write it down or pick up a guitar and figure out whatever's going on in my head. I, uh, I never sit down to write a song. When I write a song, it usually takes me days, sometimes months to finish. I don't worry about it because if I worry about it then I try to write and I force things out of myself that are total shit. The stories in the song, I mean, it's really easy to take something very, very simple and, and uh, if you have a knack for poetry, kind of make it this big emotional character filled story. Everything that I write is just based off a feeling or something that happened to me or something that's happened to somebody I know. And, you know, and you start retelling or reliving uh, something that happened to you or something that happened to one of your friends, it always gets exaggerated over time. And uh, the stories just get better the more you think about them and the more you reflect on it, kind of change little details. That's kind of how I write songs. Do people recognize themselves in your songs? The, the people that, no. that they may be based on? <laughs> Thank God, no. <laughs> I, uh, I did, <laughs> a couple years ago, told somebody that she had been my muse for a couple of years. And she kind of freaked out about that. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have told her. <laughs> Tell us about the artists that influence your sound. What, what drove you to become Deer Tick as we know it? I grew up listening to a lot of old, old music, um, doo -wop and stuff. And one day I'm, I'm cruising around Providence, and Hey Good Looking by Hank Williams came on the radio. And I bought a collection of Hank Williams songs and locked myself in my bedroom with a bottle of brandy and listened to it on repeat over and over again. And then I discovered all this great music that I hadn't, uh, I wasn't aware of um, growing up, and then realized the connections with all the artists that I really did like growing up, like, uh, like Roy Orbison. Our sound is strongly influenced by songwriters like uh, Towns Van Zandt and Hank Williams and John Prine and stuff, but we're more of a rock band. That's kind of how I grew up, was listening to rock and roll. The songwriting and the performance aspect of, you know, Deer Dick is very different 